this uh, tutorial on using the iPad and we're going to be looking at uh, an introduction to accessibility or accessibility options and a quick look at uh, voiceover. So voiceover is uh, a built-in feature of um, accessibility which provides access to the iPad for people who are blind or might have a visual difficulty or even for some learners who have dyslexia and require audio feedback. So these are some of the features you can see in accessibility. There's voiceover, zoom, large text, white on black, uh, speak selection and speak auto text and we're going to be looking at some of these in a bit more detail. So let's uh, first of all look at voiceover. Um, difficult to demonstrate it just now, or difficult to demonstrate the voice as it's difficult to hear the voice but I'll give you an idea of some of the main features uh, in it. Um, you can change the speaking rates making it very fast or slow or just medium as I've got here. There is only one voice and that's Daniel so it's not possible to change the voice and there are some other options here such as uh, when you're using the keyboard it can speak back individual characters as you type them or words as they're being typed. So the main idea of um, voiceover is that you can touch an item and it speaks it back to you. So to select an item you touch it and it reads it to you. You can activate a, an item or a, an app by double tapping it and you can scroll through the various pages by using three finger flicks. So that's a three finger flicks. And there's also a very useful called voiceover practice here as well. So the, there are some tricky um, gestures to get used to. So uh, it's worth having a, a little practice in the voiceover practice just to um, try and experiment before you, you, you let loose with the actual uh, uh, voiceover option. So uh, as I'm hovering over here it's actually reading it back, difficult to hear it I know but it's actually hearing it back and I'm just tapping on these bits and it's so read any part of the app whether that's uh, the actual settings or if we just move here now, come out of there and move into um, say for example a web page, so I'm using Safari. So tap and then double tap to open up the app and here we are in this called Scotland website. So let's just tap on the home page, double tap to get to the front page and just to f whenever I see some text it's just a case of selecting the text by tapping or touching and then it will read that text back. So that's a very powerful feature for users who require some um, speech or text-to-speech uh, and so it's well recommended. And then to switch that off it's just a double tap, uh, select, tap and a double tap to switch it off. So voiceover, it's well worth having a look. Mm -hmm.